A differential equation is given by dy by dx is equal to 5 minus ky, where k is a positive constant. Given that y is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0, express y in terms of x and k. If when x is large, y tends to 10, show the value of k is 0 0.5 and hence find x when y is equal to 2. So we've got dy by dx is equal to 5 minus ky. And this is quite difficult. We need to separate the variables. But you need to think of this as 1 times 5 minus k and rearrange it as 1 over 5 minus ky is equal to 1. Then integrating both sides with respect to x, this side will become 1 over 5 minus ky dy. And this will be the integral of 1 dx. So this one, if we integrate it, we could try ln of 5 minus ky. But when we differentiate this, we get a minus k over 5 minus ky. So to compensate for that, we need to put a minus sign in front and divide by k. When we integrate 1, we just get x, but we get a plus c. Now when y is 1, y is 0, sorry, x is 0. So we get ln of 5. Minus k times 0 divided by k is equal to 0 plus c, which gives that c will be minus ln of 5 over k. So putting that in back into my differential equation, my differential equation, now, well, my equation now becomes ln of 5 minus ky over k is equal to x minus ln of 5 over k. So if we want to get rid of the, this in the denominator, if we multiply the whole thing through by k, we're going to get minus ln of 5 minus ky is equal to kx minus ln of 5. Let's put all the thing with ln on one side. So we're going to have ln of 5 minus ln of k, uh, 5 minus ky is equal to kx. We can combine these as ln of 5 over 5 minus ky as a single logarithm is equal to kx, and then using the idea that log a to the b is c, b will be equal a to the c, then 5 over 5 minus ky will be equal to e to the kx. 5, if we multiply this by b, will be k e to the kx times 5 minus uh, ky times e to the kx. And then we're going to have that KYE, because we're going to have to make Y the subject, is equal to 5E to the KX minus 5. Therefore, Y will be 5E to the KX minus 5 over KE to the KX. And therefore, if we were now write this as uh, 5 over 5 e to the kx over k e to the 5x this will just become 5 over k and then we're going to just have minus 5 over k e to the kx now we're told that as x goes to infinity e to the kx would also go to the infinity so here we're going to have 5 over a very very large number which means that now becomes goes to 0 Hence, the whole thing will go to y is 5 over k. So, therefore, and as a y goes large, it goes to 10. So, 10 will be equal to 5 over k, which gives you that k is 5 over 10, which is 0 0.5. Therefore, y will be equal to 5 over 0 0.5 minus 5 over 0 0.5e to the 0 0.5x. We want to know when y is equal to 2. So rearranging that, we'll take the 2 over here and this over here. We're going to have 10 over e to the 0 0.5x is equal to 8. And then we have e to the 0 0.5x is equal to 10 over 8. Using the same idea as before, a to the c is equal to b implies that c is log a of b. We're going to have that half x is going to be ln of 5 over 4, 10 over 4, 8 to cancel down. Therefore, x will be 2 ln of 5 over 4, which is 0 0.4462, which will give me 0 0.446. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to solve a differential equation by separating the variables. So I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.